10 completed projects in Ghana that shook the continent. Spanning the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south, sharing borders with the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east. Ghana, officially known as the Republic of Ghana, is a country in Africa. Within the years, the country has struggled to grow from a level of absolute poverty to what it is now, but not fully developed. Ghana has managed to rise and attain a CTAIN developmental stage that other African countries have not been able to attain. The infrastructural foundation of Ghana has transitioned progressively over the past 20 years, facilitating the nation's economic and developmental growth. The government and business sector have placed a renewed emphasis on infrastructure projects such as real estate investment projects, road expansion, and rail building projects in the past year. The most forward-thinking architects in Ghana have set out to address one of society's most pressing issues, building a world that can adapt to a drastically different future. Ghana has a well-balanced range of projects that have broken ground, ranging from energy and power to healthcare. Be prepared to experience everything Africa Reloaded has in store for you as you travel with us to discover 10 completed projects in Ghana that shook the continent. Please subscribe to our channel. 10. Cumasi Water Supply Project The Cumasi Water Supply Project was anticipated to cost 24 million euros in total. The project's scope of work included the installation of a 400 millimeter high density polyethylene HDPE pipeline on the Cumasi Ring Main, the supply and installation of a transformer at the Nuss Booster Station the fencing of Primpe College's reservoir site, and the replacement of a 9-inch cast-iron pipeline between Suwain Roundabout and Konfo Anakai Teaching Hospital. 9. Akawa J Interchange In Accra, Ghana, the Akawa J Interchange is a flyover. It was known as the Sankara Interchange until 2005. The interchange's construction began in September 1997 and ended in December 1999. It was the first interchange created in Ghana, and it was erected during the government of Jerry Rawlings. The interchange is on Liberation Road in Accra, between Ring Road Central and Independence Avenue, with links to the 37 Military Hospital and the police headquarters. 8. Accra Mall the Accra Mall is a shopping mall in Accra, Ghana, on the Spintex Road, which runs parallel to the Tema Motorway. On July 4, 2008, the mall was officially opened. Late Joseph Wusu Akya started it. Atterbury Property Development, Sanla, and the Wusu Akya family are the owners. Accra Mall has been in the forefront of a retail revolution since its inception in 2008. It has a cinema, pubs, restaurants, a dentist, and a medical center in addition to stores. Acti saw Accra Mall not merely as something Ghana wanted, but as something it needed, having already invested in the creation of destination malls in other African countries. When basic items must be supplied from London, there is a chance to make a profit while also improving the quality of life. 7. Tema Motorway Interchange the Tema Motorway Interchange is a diverging diamond interchange that replaced the Tema Roundabout on the Tema Motorway's east side. It connects the Tema Motorway, Aflau Road, Akasambo Road, and Tema Harbor Road with four-lane trunk roads. Following an agreement struck by the governments of Ghana and Japan, development on the second phase of the Tema Motorway Interchange project is set to begin next month. 6. The Signature Apartments the seal of approval introduces a spectacular collection of premium apartments situated on twin towers with a penthouse on top. The bright development exudes refinement, leaving a lasting impression on the Accra skyline while offering amazing views of the city. The architectural orientation of a signature is essentially a work of art, unlike any other in the world. The historic and cultural significance of Ghana's Adinkra symbol, M. Framadan, which denotes perseverance, strength, and sturdiness, inspired its unusual shape. The design combines African tradition with intricate architectural geometrics in a seamless manner. It features open-plan living areas, fully equipped kitchens, luxurious baths, and private gardens on each floor with views of Africa's coolest city. 
Micheletti Limited is responsible for the signature's design. 5. Pokeways Interchange The Pokeways intersection is a four-level stack interchange in Accra, Ghana, located at Pokeways Junction. When completed, it will be the largest interchange in West Africa. The interchange was originally three-tiered, but the Akufo Addo administration changed it to four tiers on the suggestion of the constructor, making it the largest in West Africa. Construction began in 2018 and was officially opened by President Nana Akufo Addo on July 9, 2021. It runs parallel to the Nsawam Road and connects it to the George Walker Bush Highway. 4. Kijisha Market The Kumasi Central Market, also known as the Kijisha Market, is an open-air market in Kumasi, Ashanti's capital. Kumasi Central Market is located on the Ashanti Peninsula in the Ashanti Rainforest bioregion. Kumasi lies around 480 kilometers north of the equator and 100 kilometers north of the Gulf of Guinea. Because of its numerous beautiful varieties of flowers and plants, Kumasi is known as the Garden City, or Heartbeat of Ashanti, and the Ashantilan Peninsula. 3. Accra Car Factory Volkswagen has constructed a vehicle assembly plant in Ghana, which is attempting to entice automakers and establish itself as a car-making powerhouse. The Accra plant will produce Tikuan, Terramont, Passat, Polo, and Amarok models with a capacity of 5,000 cars per year. Ghana has put in place policy measures aimed at transforming the country into a West African automobile manufacturing hub by offering incentives to automotive manufacturers and assemblers who are registered under the Ghana Automotive Development Program, she a DP. It has barred the importing of salvaged automobiles and some motor vehicles above the age of 10 years as part of this set of restrictions. 2. Katoka Airport Terminal Ghana Airports Company Limited, she a CL, the airport operator and management, began ground on its flagship project, Terminal 3, at Katoka International Airport, KIA, in March 2016. Construction of a new terminal was finished in June 2018, and it opened to traffic three months later. By modernizing and upgrading Katoka International Airport into a gateway for West Africa and a regional aviation center, the country's objective to enhance its key infrastructure is supported. It also helps the economy of the country by improving market connectivity and lowering business costs. 1. Tema Port Expansion Project Phase 1. Meridian Port Services Limited successfully completed Phase 1 of the Tema Port Expansion Project on April 30, 2020, also known as Terminal 3 of Tema Port. MPS Terminal 3 was supposed to open on two berths on June 28. 2019, and the entire Phase 1 construction was supposed to be finished on June 28, 2020, according to the terms of the concession. Both deadlines were met, and the project was completed ahead of time. The accomplishment of delivering this huge infrastructure ahead of a contractual deadline of 3.5 years was due to a mix of exceptional teamwork, solid project finance, and dedicated shareholders. These are some of the projects that, when they were completed, they did not only propel Ghana forward in terms of development, but also raised living standards and accelerate economic and social development. If you love this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more Africa-related content.